Let's dig a little bit deeper into the sampling quality settings. So as we've seen, we can set a minimum and maximum value samples per pixel. So for each pixel, we can take more or fewer samples. Then the question becomes, how does the renderer decide whether to sample that pixel more times or to recursively resample? It's done based upon this spatial contrast value. What we want to achieve is we want fewer samples in flat areas of color and more samples in areas where there's a great amount of detail, whether it's a texture or glossy highlights or what have you. So the spatial contrast setting lets us set a threshold. Higher contrasty areas should be sampled more and less contrasty areas should be sampled less. To set these values, it's a little bit non-intuitive. Lower values mean more samples higher values mean fewer samples. So the default is 0.05. A useful range of values here is somewhere between maybe 0.01 to 0.1, something like that. So I could set this to maybe like 0.01 on all of these red, green, blue, and alpha channels. And this would dramatically increase my render time because essentially what would happen is we would be sampling nearly 64 times on almost all pixels. If I set this to a value of 0 on all channels, then I would get 64 samples on every pixel. And that wouldn't be a good idea because our render times would be extreme and we wouldn't get the benefits of sampling these flat areas fewer times. So you would never set this to 0. If I set it to maybe 0.1, then I run the risk of not having enough accuracy and I'll probably end up under sampling the scene. So again the default is 0 0.05 and that's a pretty good sort of happy medium. In actual practice I would tend to set this to something more like 0 0.07. That would basically give me almost the same result as 0 0.05 but speed up the rendering just a little bit. As always your mileage may vary and it's going to be different for every scene but now you know how to adjust it in order to get good results.